I mean, if you had to do an impression of what sound that Carnotaurus is making, it's like, <laughs> and welcome back to another episode of Jersey World. I'm your host, the Game Beaver, and if you like this video, good for you. <laughs> but welcome! There, I mean, it's been... Has it been a week? Already? No, time has not flown that quickly. Although it might have. Anyway, we're back in the game. And last time we left off, they just released the Omegas. Um, and I had people in the comments asking, Oh my god, if it takes this much DNA to make it level 2 or level 4, how much is it going to take to make level 30? So, good news, I think you can dart these multiple times a day. Uh, I don't know if there's a limit to them. Uh, hopefully I'll put up uh, some video of me darting the Stego... Dis dis or I don't know what it was exactly called. Um, but yeah, I have done a lot of traveling this last weekend that's just happened. So I managed to dot a fair few. So I, I spent maybe th six hours on a bullet train, which is way too fast to dot anything. <laughs> Though on a regular train, it does work. But I did manage to uh, dot that. I dotted some more Diabolaceratops. There is only one Omega that we still do not have and we will get in this video. And that is Toro from Camp Cretaceous. Now what's very interesting about Toro is that at the moment, I think we have a raid of a Carnotaurus. And this Carnotaurus looks very similar to the one in Fallen Kingdom, which also shows up in Dominion. Uh, and I'm pretty sure like Toro is just the same, except for it got burned and then it got a scar on it. But the, the version of Toro that we get in the game doesn't, is not crispy fried extra. Uh, it's just got a little bit of a scar in its nose. But we'll start this by... Uh, creating the Stegoros. Stegoros? Stegoros. I don't know if this is a real dinosaur, but it looks hella cool. Oh, there we go. Evolve to claim new abilities. And it doesn't want me to see it. It's a very strange looking dinosaur. It's like an ankylosaur, and then it's got almost like thagomizers on the back of its tail, but they're obviously just plates of armor. Um, and it is an Omega, which means that it starts with two moves, and the more you level it up, the more abilities you get. And again, just get rid of stun. I don't know how many more times I have to say it for it to it become a thing. But Lydia, if you would be so kind, please, get rid of stun. I love it. <laughs> anyway, so we have Stego... Whatever it is, Stego... Um, I think I... Hold on, here we go. Now, for the first time ever, I might actually sort these dinosaurs. So I think we can get it probably to level three. I think it's probably 150 to make it to level three. Let's see. Okay, okay. Never mind, it's 100 each time until you get to, I think, level four. Then it changes to 500 each time. Let's have a look, because I looked at Diablo, because I remember, yeah, there and now it's 500. Because last time I was making these, and it was saying 100 each time, so I thought in my head, oh, it's 100 all the way to level 30. Fair enough, you know, it's, it's still going to cost a lot of coin to get there, but, you know, you can easily get it. No, if it level 500 at level 4, and you can max get like 150 out of these per dart. Ooh, ooh, okay, I mean, I want to start the, like, streams like the bike streams where we just go around cycle around an area in japan and just try like cycle to each one on the map because you can go on here and i found you know if you if i'm unlucky i might scroll around like i am now and not find anything most of the time there's usually one on the map and by the time we cycle to one probably cycle to another and just see how much we can get in a day however or at least while we're streaming the only stopper in it is really going to be the uh, the coin because that's what's really going to slowly ramp up. You see, we've got a level four of this guy, but Toro is still locked behind a paywall as of now. Like I said, remember when Rexy, you could only pay for it, like basically. Now they've done two events where you can get 400 Rexy DNA for free. It's, it's just been an incubator battle and you can get it, which is really good but at the same time you know uh, if you want these creatures now you can you can pay for it otherwise eventually they'll probably become free but when they're no longer usable now rexy i used in the game i got to nubla shores and we are here in nubla shores which is very good but we're gonna stay here for all of two seconds before we're unceremoniously and ungraciously Knocked back down in Gyrosphere. As soon as I get a Nublar Shores, I face up against... Which ones is it? They're, they're all level 30. They're all maxed. 
Um, and it's uh, this thing. I'll face a level 30 of this maxed up with max attack and all those boosts. And the twins of these two, the Paraxis and the other one, maxed up to level 30 and all boosted. Now, the only thing that's stopping me from maxing my guys and putting boosts on them is I know what this game's like. Before I know it, then they're, they're not going to be used. Remember when this thing, the smiling Emmys, everybody used the smiling Emmys. Remember that? But nobody used I never see smiling Emmys. This thing was put in the game to try and be a counter to the meta. And even after, I think, several buffs, still nobody uses it. Remember when everyone used this at level, what was it, 11,000 health? No longer used. So these dinosaurs... I mean, yeah, they're unique, I suppose, and maybe with the new things, it could be worth a shot in certain areas. But the meta is the one that establishes where the dinosaurs are used in these situations. And I have very rarely seen them. It doesn't mean they might not work. It just means it's, you know, it's going to take a little bit more effort and maybe a little bit more of a situation to get them usable than a normal, like the Pyrexes, the Raptors, which can survive in a plethora of situations. Anyway, we are here in the Emperor Empire Pass, and I am all the way to level 23. So, I don't know if we can unlock it. There it is. Toro, an Omega Dinosaur. It's a wild card, which is very interesting to know. Is there another one? Oh, well, there's 50 of that. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we have Toro unlocked right now. So, let's go for it, baby. Is it just looking like a regular Carnotaurus? It looks like a regular Carnotaurus. Yeah, I mean, all the way down to the uh, the markings. Or oh, okay, what are we get? Enhancements evolved to claim. I mean, I'm gonna unless I spend money on the pass, I'm really not gonna get Toro uh, much better. But 20% armor, which is quite interesting for a Carnotaurus. 10% crit chance, which is twice as better as normal. Decelerating cleanse. Angry Endurance. So you gain 20% extra armor. Uh, and 75% dodge. And damage is increased by 25%. Okay. Horned Devour. So you get stuff back. You do a bunch of damage. And you go through armor and dodge. Not cloak. Oh, it, it's weird because they can't... So many, Some of these attacks have so many different things they do. They don't even fit them on. It's like, all of the, oh yeah, by the way, you see that thing? It, it goes through armor, it, it shields, it gets devoured. But it also, I guess the little top left thing, but it's just dodge, not cloak. It's too convoluted. I praised this game to start with, with how in-depth its mechanics were. But they, they, they're just a bit too convoluted. And even the icons themselves... At a if you I don't know what your move is doing at a glance. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, thrashing impact, swap in endurance, minor healing counter. So it hits the opponent and heals itself. And if it's threatened, it heals itself even more. Again, the classic 100% immune to stun, some resistance on the damage and the speed and damage over time and the rend. So yeah, this thing is great. If you put loads of health, loads of attack on it, and then, you know, it can do a load of damage. When it gets hurt, it can kind of heal itself. That would be my solution to it. So, what are our options? Well, we could upgrade to a regular pass and receive all these rewards right away, as well as the little dart emote. But, if we just put in, you know, an extra 20 pound, you could get 340 of the Toro, 300 of the Starikosaurus, a Jurassic World gate, which... I mean, it'd be really cool if it went da -da 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 or something like that, you know. It's just a gate closing and opening. Okay, A. Uh, as well as a lithic skin. You don't get any skins for the other one. You do get three, four, five hundred Toro DNA if you buy the regular pass. This, this one doesn't get you that much Toro DNA. So, I mean, 300, yeah, 100... And 250. Strangely enough, you get more Toro DNA if you do the cheaper one. And this emote, the darling one, you get just regularly in the pass itself. So I'm wondering if by getting the premium pass, it's just giving you all of the rewards you would get anyway. I don't know. Either way, we're going to do it. We're going to get the premium. If I'm going to spend money on this game, honestly, the best way to do it, the more bang for your buck is the premium pass. I don't buy incubators anymore. I don't buy anything else. Um, and this stuff, I would never say it's worth it. I mean, in the end, you're spending more money than you would on a regular game 
ever. Um, but, you know, it's content. It's my job. And I, I, I like it. I like it. I mean, you guys don't even have to defend it. If you enjoy the game, you can spend money any way you like. You may be labeled as a pay-to-win player, but if you enjoy it, fair dues. And it's not your fault. Really, the publishers shouldn't even put this in the game. It should be for everybody. You know, like a coupon day or something. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back. <laughs> don't look! Don't look! <laughs> so we have the lithic skin for a just Kendrosaurus. Are we ever going to need that? Or are we ever going to showcase Kendrosaur? <laughs> no! But it has a skin! <laughs> Why? Give something in the meta that has a skin. Goodness gracious. Anyway, we get a hundred thousand coin, which is always good. Nuzutoceratops, don't really need. Kendra Sword, don't really need. Sino, maybe? That, I think that definitely has... The Kendra Sword has a hybrid, I know that. Rexy, hoo -hoo, we get that for free nowadays. Toro, could have got 500 if we'd uh, done the other pass. I wonder if you can still buy the other one. 300 for Styracosaurus Lux, and that means... Oh, Actually, I have unlocked every dinosaur in Jurassic World Alive. It has only taken me how many years? Since, uh, uh, <laughs> how, uh, how many years has it been since this game released? It came out in 2018. It's five years. It's, it's, 20, it's 2023. Yeah, it's five years since this game released originally. Whoa, that's mind blowing. Anyway. Styracosaurus looks okie dokie. Uh, oh, there is another 100 for Toro. Very good, very good. Another 50. I wish there was a collect all. I'd love that just to like go through it all. Um, another 50. Well, we, we'll get the 50 Rex. Not that we really need it unless for Mortem Rex or not Mortem Rex. Tyrannometrodon. Uh, another 100 of you. This takes us to 540. Um, we can definitely level it up if we get so high. Uh, but we need to first get to level 4. Um, and maybe 150 might do it. I don't think so. There's the 50 Rexy and 150 Torodin. Oh, it looks gorgeous. So we now, I should have... Yes! This is the final dinosaur. I need to unlock to complete my collection. Styracosaurus looks... I almost maxed it. Oh, unlocked it with one darting session. But we could keep getting it. Is it any good? Shielding a heavy strike. Dickens, good. Instant fierce rampage with a delay of one. I mean, your, your digging isn't. So you could do the digging. Then get your uh, instant fierce. So that could be a good tactic. Goring charge. Swap in resilience. When you swap in, you go through... Is it cloak? Remove cloak and dodge. Very good. Not only does it go through, but it removes it. That's what you want from an attack. Again, 100% resistance. Done. We've seen that. And good resistances to everything else, except for rend, but not many things in the meta these days have rend. So we will level this up just to see how much we can get. Remember, this guy is a unique, which means that not only can you add boosts to it, but you can also do the extra step, which is really good. We will do, I forgot last time, but we will do some battles and just see if we can climb a little bit in Nublar Shores, or whether we're just getting knocked straight back down. Uh, so there you go. Let's, oh yeah, let's level up. Toro. So, I don't think now. We're going to get to level 3 or 4, I think it is. Wh whichever one it needs the 500 for. And so far, Toro is not a dinosaur that we can find on the map. This guy is going to only be available so far in incubators or the battle pass. I get a feeling that it will eventually come to the map. There we go. So, we're, we're, we're somewhat close. Does it say how you get it. Well, keep an eye on weekly calendar events. Ah, Taurus, a highly aggressive Carnotaurus, identical to other members of its species, except for his stunted right horn and the scar on his snout, which the game does not want me to go. There we go. Is it? Is it slightly smaller? Not, oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it is slightly smaller. Oh, that's cute. Because it takes a little bit more effort to change the model like that. Normally, when they're making models, they just mirror what's happening on the right side to the left. So you only make, have to make half a dinosaur. But again, once the model's made, I guess you just have to go in and turn that off and go... Shrink. <laughs> I suppose. I'm, I'm doing no justice. I'm doing a disservice to the people who make these dinosaurs, who are incredibly talented. Um, and have no say in how the game is ran. Just want to make that clear. There are talented people on this game. But really, it's the higher-ups that say whether... They want more profit from the game. Uh, so we still have this three hours, three hours to get this uh, this uh, thing. And I would love to do it. But again, apart from being able to flex, 
if it had the sound effect of the doo 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 doo, I would do it. I'm a sucker for that. But this, this ain't it. Unfortunately, you missed. You could have had it. Or, or, or we could spend a hundred pound to level up a dinosaur once <laughs> to level six, where it is still completely unusable. Uh, they, they are, however. Uh, trying to... I mean, I don't understand. Imagine when App Games first came out if they did this. Could you imagine? It's, 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 it's sad how we've allowed this to just proliferate in the mobile game space. And partly my fault as well. I do apologize for, you know, engaging in it. But I... I, I need to showcase these new things. I, I do enjoy the game. That's the problem at the heart of it. I enjoy the game. If I didn't enjoy the game, I wouldn't spend money on it. Uh, but that's that done. Let's see, what emotes have I made? I think I swapped out a couple. Yeah, this one was a good one. I think that was a pay, like I paid for that one, so I was putting that in. I was kind of just having a look through what I would actually use in a battle, because weirdly enough, some of these emotes make literally no sense. Like, whenever would you do that one? Whenever would you have a T-Rex with a flare in its mouth? You wouldn't. A ne an emote needs to emote. I mean, a fire makes sense. When not in the emote kind of sphere of things, but you call things fire. I get it. I get it. Okay, so our roster. How are we doing? Comsoraptor was definitely something that I wanted to try. Just, I, need, I think I need 250 of its... Oh my god! 90! I was not expecting that. I was like, I, you know, I need 250, but no. Because I need that in order to get it. Just 10% extra attack. But I can't do that just yet. The only other creature that I, I think I can add a boost to is this guy. And I mean, I have more than enough to get two of these. So I may as well get 10% extra. I hate having to do it. It costs so much coin to do that, to give it extra attack, but 3,000 and fuck. Oh, oh. This thing comes in on a revenge. 5,500. And not only, you know, do you gain extra attack for your attacks, but it's the counter. You get extra attack for that, so why not? And we'll give this scorpion one more pop. Just, ah, uh, okay. There's the 10. Brilliant. I was gonna say, if we could get it to level 30, we could instantly give it a boost and then instantly give it 10% extra uh, health because it costs nothing to do that. As you can see, at one point I had 400,000 coin, 124,000 now. It drops real quick when you start spending it on things. Anyway, we've got uh, Geminitis level 30 now. I think it added uh, like one or two more boosts to things that I didn't realize had an extra space for a boost. And we've given our uh, Dilokairus extra 10% attack. Now, I don't know what we're going to face up against. It'll be really strong creatures, I would assume. But without further ado, let's see what Nublar Shores has to offer. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right, what have I got given? Oh, I got the dealer, Kairos. I'm going to put it in first, because why not? I think a lot of times people put in the Geminidus. And I guess maybe the Indonemis would have been a good counter for that. So maybe I was stupid. But you know, they've got the scorpion in their picture. They could have the scorpion. Although, I don't even know if that... Are they there? Gotta be really... Oh, no, that's a timeout. Oh, what was the automatic one, then? It was a referendum. Interesting, interesting. I'll go for a regular healer. Oh, okay. So, maybe just a bad connection, I think. Yeah, I was gonna do nothing. Okay. Kind of wanted that to happen. Get my speed increase. Get a heal. And now we're going to see just what a crazy strength Dilokairus can do. I mean, he may even go for his priority. If he does, oh, that, that would be the smart play here, just to remove my attack. But I think he's going to go for a big hit. It is 5,800. Oh, that was a smart, that was a smart move. Very smart. So he removes my uh, speed increase. He gets to go first. Okay, we do some damage. I don't know. Right, I've got to be smart about this. So he's done one move. He needs to do two more moves before he's got his group attack. I think we put in the scorpions. I think we save our Dilokairus because it has enough health to tank something and it has a priority move. So here it comes. It'll do a massive amount of damage to one scorpion. And we cleanse ourselves. Uh... 
He, did he reduce our attack at all? I don't know if he, he... He must be able to. Yes, he can, but we heal ourselves, of course. Um, he's slower, but he will have his... Oh, wait. Yeah, he doesn't have a super distraction back. He can either go for... Oh, he's left with one move. <laughs> Literally one move. Uh, may as well just do this one then. Yeah, reduce that damage. Probably could have saved it, but at this point, the scorpion's dead. There's, there's really nothing we could do. Um, I'm expecting it to die here. Um, good counters, anything with a priority here. Because I've only got one scorpion left with no way to get another one. Does it, he could set up. Really, that would be his best play here. Tyranno Metrodon would be a good one to set up with here. Uh, Rexy, I suppose? Oh, that's a bugger. Showing me that... Ooh. Okay, okay. Uh, is he going to go for his priority? He should do. But then again... Oh, he doesn't. Maybe he might have enough attack to kill me. Ooh. Ah, there it is. Well played. Well played. That was good. That was good. So, Dilo Kairos isn't a great one for countering this. Tyrannometrodon's also not a great one to counter this. Um, because he'll reduce my attack... I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I don't think I have an answer to this. The scorpions were the answer to this. Um, but because I know he's gonna go for his shieldy, um, I'm gonna go for regular heal here. I'm gonna go for regular heal. He has a lot of attack, but not the most. Oh, but the crit. Oh, oh God. It's a good job I healed myself here, actually. Because I think I may just be able to survive uh, his priority. Yep, just. Because he will go for it now. Uh, all I need to do, I think he's got one more turn. Yeah, one more turn of speed increase. Let's see if he does it. Let's see if he does it. 2,500 plus the crit. It's not enough to kill me. I don't think I can reduce his attack. There's all the heal. Oh, a rampage and run. Interesting. He's getting out there while he's still got his dodge on. Does lose one, but he can always switch back, I suppose. And close looks. Mmm. Very good. Hostile Glow does remove Cloak. Uh, Tyranno Metrodon is just going to be a great one to set up here. Great one. Ooh, let me... Th ah, this one. This one's a tight, a tight one. I feel like I might have lost, though. Oh, hostile glow. Remo got rid of it. Oh, okay, okay. Goes to it right away. We could go for a big hit here. Um, and then he might kill us, actually. He could do his rampage run. 4,000. Yeah, he could. He could deliver a decisive blow here. Yeah, unless we get a crit. Even then. Yeah, he's, he's killed us. He's killed us. Okay. Yeah, the double damage. There it is. So he's going to be stuck in here. Right. Right. I can't... I can't go for enemies. I don't think I can. I think... Here I have to go for my biggest heal. I have to go for my biggest heal. He'll die with a counter. Okay, the swap in. This isn't actually too bad, I don't think. I don't think it's too bad. He will get his one dude back, which is fine. But we also get all our health back. He might free one us here. <laughs> I might be speaking too soon. Um, I'm just going to go for my... I'm going to go for my Healy here. Go for the Healy. Got to do it. Got to do it because I know... There's a chance he'll get a crit, man. Like, the crit, it's basically 70% chance, it feels, to get a crit with Compsoraptor. It's just so ludicrous. I think he might stop me from swapping out as well. Uh, he does have his dodge, but the, the graphic for it is not playing, so that's good. Yeah, we've definitely lost this one. He played this very well, very well. No crit chance, which I would have loved. Takes two out of it. The Rampage and Run. Just the amount of sheer damage he can do without any extra boosts on this guy. Well played. Well played. For an Anklos Lux in there, which I never see. Well played. And just like that, one battle in Nubla Shores. Back to Joust. <laughs> Although, I wouldn't say he had anything in particular that was OP or too crazy. It's just I use my scorpions and then he 
it, because I lost them, they are the perfect count of the Compsoraptor, and there was nothing I could do there. We'll try one more, see if we can get a win. Okay. Gyrosphere. What we got? We don't have idea, Karis. Okay, but we do have Gemini. This is a strong one. You you start Geminitis. I think you're starting out good. Uh, chances of him, he might just swap me. I think he might swap me straight away. I could probably swap out knowing he's going to do that and then get to swap back in. I feel like I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to predict him swapping me out so that he'll swap my Tyrannometodon back into Geminitis. <laughs> Have we got the big brain play? Let's see. It's the big brain play! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Like, yeah, I jump and I just come back in. <laughs> hey, what are you going to do now? Okay, so now he's got his crit chance. He's going to go for the bleed, I think. So I'm going to cleanse it. Yeah, I'm going to cleanse my bleed. There it is. A massive amount of damage. It would do even more if... Because uh, I don't think I have too much... Yeah, 25% resistance to the bleed, which is literally nothing. So we go for this. Uh, I don't think we slow him down, but we cleanse that bleed, which is the important thing. And now, there's nothing left for him to do than either swap or die. Because we've got priority and he's swapping. Okay, he's swapping to Imperator Sutures, which isn't such a bad idea because he can get his Trine of Valkyrie back in to heal itself with an automatic swap. And this guy is going to be really good because we can uh, attempt to swap out and he'll try and lock us in. So I could go for an attack here, or I could try and swap. I feel like if I... I might as well just go. I might as well try it. We can reduce his attack somewhat. He's not going to get all his health back. Unfortunately, now I'm locked in, so I can't swap out. Because if I try to swap out, he'd lock me in, do an attack, and I could do a free counter. But uh, yeah, I think this was the better option. Uh, I'm definitely dead either way. Uh, now... Like, literally, next next turn. Oh, we actually got another one off. Oh, interesting. Okay. He's not locked in. But at this point, it's going to be hard for him. Okay, there it is. I was like, did I just survive? <laughs> what? Right, okay. Big brain play here now. Because we... I think we can outspeed him. We can outspeed the uh, croc. Now, if he swaps, he's dead. But if he stays in, he's going to give us... Um, 0.6 of direct damage dealt. And because, you know, we're going to do 5,000, even though we did 700, it, the game thinks we did the full amount. Um, okay, okay. We're still... Oh! I mean, I may as well do that. Yeah, playful pounce. That's not a bad thing to do. We don't have... I mean, we lost Geminitis, and that was our flock attacker. So we are going to get 1,000 in our health. Probably 2,000 now, I think. About-ish. Let's see. Ooh. 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 Ooh, that's not... I mean, he's definitely killed us. And he didn't get a crit. Ooh, not that it would have killed us. But we get our attack up. We get our health up. Oh, not health, sorry. Um, we get a speed up. We heal a little bit. But of course... This thing has priority. So it'll go for it and kill us. Um, does it have a speed boost anymore? It does have a speed boost. Now, if we put in our own Compsoraptor, it's not looking good for us. Um, but there's nothing I could do here. Uh, unfortunately, the Indonemis, he does have his dodge as well. So I'm going to have to go for this. Oh, God. Oh, God. The noise. The noise. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, takes me down. And will I get lucky and go through the dodge is the question. Oh, and a crit. Oh, we didn't even go through the dodge, but the crit helped. Okay, if you have scorpions, we've lost. Indonemis, interesting. Very interesting. That is weird. That is really weird. Uh, I'm kind of half tempted to go for... I'll go for that. Let's go for this. I think next turn, we'll go for a Rampage and Run. Ooh. Ooh. He's going for his cloak. 
This could only really mean one thing, I feel. He's got something to switch to. So he's going to hit me, do all the damage he can, and get out. I, there's no way for me to play this, even if that's his tactic, and I swap out to my own Indonemi thing. It's only going to try and stun him, which isn't going to do anything, and then he'll die from this hit. So, if he has something that swaps in like Tyranno Valkyrie and does damage, I've lost. There's nothing I could do there. Oh, impact on escape! Don't get the crit! No, that would have been it! That would have been it! No! Oh, no! Yeah, he, he knows it. He's got he's got Tron of Valkyrie. He's got Tron of Valkyrie. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Hey, you say thanks, but that was not up to me. That was complete RNG. Oh, both beautiful games, but just the thing is, when you're dealing with literally RNG winning that game for me, it's like, I, I don't feel like not only can I take credit for losing, but he can't take credit for winning because it was completely up to the RNG gods. Oh, okay, come on, come on, here we go. And we have our own Tyranno Valkyrie. We have Tyranno Metrodon. Ooh, ooh, you know what? Let's open with Tyranno Metrodon. Can, can I get a win? Is it even possible? Right, so the tactic to do with this guy is to go for... Get your speed, get your attack. Then go for the massive damage. Right, so luckily it had so much health that we didn't get it below half health. Um, now, he could, if he wanted to, go for a swap. And I think he will do this now. Um, and in a way, I kind of want him to swap out. Because I think he's going to swap out, and then I'm going to hit him. He's going to hit back. Uh, he's not going to kill me, but I'm expecting that. I'm expecting that, and I want to know what he's going to swap into. So I'm going to get Dino Kyrus out here. Oh! Why are we still here? Never mind. I could have went for a massive hit and killed him and got all my health back. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, that's a shame. That's a shame. I tried to big brain this player. Turns out he wasn't even big braining me. He, he was low IQing me and I, I lost to that. I lost to the low IQ play. <laughs> Now he's below half health. He can go for his priority. I am vulnerable. He can do 4,000. Is it even 5,000? It might even be 5,000. Um, at this point... I think I've just got to take the L. I've got to take the L with the dealer Kairos. Got to take the loss. Um, unfortunately, it will die. <sighs> There's nothing I could do there. The ironic thing might be that if I hadn't have boosted my Dino Kairos to extra damage, he might not be below half health. <laughs> right, let's see. So, it'll be interesting. Wait, now you swap? Now you swap? But why? Why do you swap now? Five percent chance. All right, I quit. We lost this one. Next game. No. Okay, so I, I cut this. And I thought I was going to die, so I just kind of didn't think that, uh, uh, did I just win? How, wait, how, how did I just win this? What? <laughs> I was literally about to be like 3-1 before he nailed. Hold up, hold up. I, I won? I, uh, I don't even know what to say. That I, I literally went silent because I was like, well, I'll just skip and get to the next fight. Somehow managed to turn that round. And we're on 10%. I don't even know how I did that, man. <laughs> that was amazing.
<laughs> okay, well, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> leave a like, and until next time, I mean, hopefully we'll get these live streams going, and we can get outside, dart some dinosaurs, just have, have a little bit of fun rather than being in the office. If we're in here, we could do battles, and we can, you know, talk about the dinosaurs, talk about updates, talk about new things coming up, and then we're out on the field, we can kind of do that too, but also darting, and because that is really 50% of the game, and 50% of, not more than 50% of how you get good DNA. Incubators give you guaranteed, but darting is way better than incubators tenfold. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.